a huge honor. Um, obviously, they're such a huge part of the city. Um, and so for them to want to incorporate my image into one of their uh, largest events of the year, just just totally humbling. And 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 I mean, I think I told like 20 people like the day the day it happened, you know, I was going down my list, like, who can I tell? Um, not, you know, bragging about it. It was just just the coolest thing to me. I don't think they really will ever get the gravity of how much this means to me and to other artists of like, you don't have to be doing this for us. Like you're doing us a favor. When they ask me to uh, to do anything, I'm always jumping on it. The 2021 Penguins Charity Bag is inspired by Pittsburgh, and a couple of our city's most talented artists were thrilled to do their part. Dave DiCello, a photographer born and raised in Bethel Park, has been taking photos of our beautiful city for over a decade. One of those photos was used as the image on this year's charity bag itself. I'd sent them um, about 20 different ones, um, and they narrowed it down to a couple from there. You know, it had to fit on the bag, so you know the, the panoramas work work the best. Um, and then the ones from the North Shore uh, with with both with both bridges on it um, were, were, was a great candidate as well. Artist Kate Shobe lived in Pittsburgh for 25 years and has been painting for the past 15 years. Shobe captured the essence and intensity of four members of the Penguins team. Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, Crystal Tang, and Jake Gensel that have found their way onto an exclusive art puck set. Whenever we have more of like a time crunch on things, I usually like to do things in acrylic. Um, I usually like to do oil, but oil just takes so long to dry. So I'll do things in black and white and then in acrylic. I already knew like these are gonna take me like only a few days to work on each one. Um, but to me, I feel like I had the easy part. So all I have to do is just sit at home in my pajamas and just paint all day. Pittsburgh artist Cody Sable had never had one of his art pieces turned into a puzzle until now. Known for his speed painting, Sable turned five hours of work into this psychedelic Penguins logo, which can be found on the Penguins family puzzle. The design idea was kind of, how do we take the Penguins logo and just really make it a, a crazy and uh, thought out and wild design. Through the process of creating that painting, it was uh, a lot of, you know, it's a logo, so it has like really straight lines. You have to be fairly precise with it. And uh, the airbrushing does take a little bit of time just because you're working with, uh, that's actually a new instrument that I'm trying to figure out is uh, airbrushing. So that does take me a little bit longer, but once we get to the stuff that I can like really uh, work fast on, throw paint around and, uh, you know, kind of jam here in, the, in my luxurious garage studio, uh, it became, it was, it became one of my, one of my favorite pieces. This year's charity bag is filled with memorabilia from the Pittsburgh Penguins and from our Steel City in partnership with local companies and vendors. The artists appreciate the fact that the charity bag and the enclosed items have such a strong connection to the city that they all love. To like see your artwork like on pucks and stuff like that, like it's like so surreal. And just knowing that like people that I love and the city that I love supports me and are gonna be carrying around like my artwork, which is like really, really cool. Pittsburgh is such a close knit city. And, and you know, I, I've i said, if you lived in the city for a month or you've lived here for 10 years, it's like, you always say you're from Pittsburgh. It, you know, it, it just has a way of, 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 of latching itself onto you. At the heart of Pittsburgh, there's just this community of, of, of wanting to help each other out, wanting to use each other's uh, talents and skills and, and whatever they have to bring to the table because at the end of the day you know Pittsburgh is a place but uh, we're we go way beyond that as a community.